Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a bathroom build off with 12 fans. So let's jump straight into this. All right, you guys, so we are here on the plot. And as you can see, everybody has got their square ready. So I need to go around and give everyone permission. So first of all, let me turn roommate building on. And the reason I'm just giving roommate is because it stops any trolls on here going around and deleting stuff. But I'm each giving them a budget of 10,000 to build their bathrooms with. So let me really quickly run around and give everybody their budget of 10,000. Okay, so I'm explaining the rules now because I've set everybody's budget. So I've just said stay on budget any style you want and let's begin. And look at everybody entering build mode. It is so cool. So I've just started the time and now. And as you can see, my plot is pink, a little bit different to everyone else's. But I love watching everybody start to build. What I don't love so much is seeing my money absolutely plummet. Anyway, we've wasted enough time talking. Let's build the bathroom. I want to take as much advantage as I can of the five by five. But I did want to add a little weird window bit here for the bath. Anyway, I think we should just start off with the very basics, maybe like wall trims and stuff. So we'll put that here. And I normally make these plain but I might make them concrete today and then I'm gonna do the same for the top wall trims and not to sneak peek but it looks like other people are doing marble Anyway, I think something that would look really cool in a bathroom is checkered flooring. The only thing with this is it does take quite a bit of time. And oh my gosh, you guys, I keep going to like backspace stuff, but obviously you can't do that. And I'm actually kind of doing well for time, unlike when we did the bedroom build off. The last thing we should do before decorating is probably do the wallpaper and the doors. So I'm just gonna add some traditional doors, maybe like a gray wallpaper. Honestly, I did not pre-plan this, obviously. That's why it looks so random. And then last but not least, we're gonna add some windows in. And I'm actually gonna resize them because ceiling to floor windows look so cool and honestly i think they're the only windows that we really need in this bathroom and oh my gosh i love sneak peeking at what other people are doing it looks so cool anyway we might as well start with the bath and i'm gonna get the most expensive one then over here i wanted to make like a shelving unit and oh my gosh no i don't want it purple there we go and actually with the new update they have quite a lot of like bathroom stuff in here so maybe a mirror like on the side here. We could have some perfumes in here and then like the simpler stuff like deodorant. Wow, whoever lives in this bathroom needs a lot of hairspray apparently. And oh my gosh, 10 minute reminder I need to give people. 10 minutes left guys. And somebody said, can we use the resize? And I said, you can use any game passes. Anyway, back to work. I thought 15 minutes would be plenty of time, but I'm not so sure now. This might have to turn into a little bit of a rush because it's a bathroom. Of course we need some spare toilet paper because there's nothing worse and running out of this and then we're gonna add some towels along the top and you don't realize how expensive bathroom stuff is but already 50,000 has been spent on all of these bathrooms then lastly on here I just want to add some of these flat towels and oh my gosh look at my money guys it's literally going down so quickly and I know I said I didn't want windows here but I might just add them anyway because I don't know what else to put on the wall over here is gonna be our massive sink unit so I'm gonna get the counters and I reckon what counters go well with this maybe the arched counter yeah, so we'll put four of these down here. Then I'm gonna go in here and get the matching cabinets. And I'm gonna put two normal size ones in the middle and then two with the little shelf so we can put some more bathroom stuff in them. Then let's give this some color so it doesn't look like it's a clown's toothbrush. Then what mirrors do we have? Oh, this one's nice. I don't know if that looks weird or not. Maybe we should just have one actually. And then maybe just some lights on the wall as well. Anyway, people always come at me for forgetting the sinks. So I'm gonna put the sinks in now, but it is true. I always do forget to put sinks in bathrooms and kitchens and oh my gosh I've just looked at the time we only have five minutes so I'm gonna put some towels over here and then some perfume over there and I should probably give everybody a five minute warning and I do want to decorate this area a bit more because it looks rather plain so I'm gonna add some ceiling to floor curtains and honestly, I think it looks okay, the default colour. Then I actually want to add like a stool, which you can use to clamber into the bathtub. And maybe like a bathroom mat as well. Yeah, this is a bathroom mat. And I'm just going to colour that the same colour as the curtain, so it sort of matches. Anyway, we then have a big space over here for a vanity. So I'm going to put that, and then I'm going to use this round stool. Because I feel like a vanity is kind of rare to have one in a bathroom, but it's not unheard of. And I might actually move that up here so there's room for another shelf with some more like toilet roll. This is just a whole toilet roll roll bathroom isn't it guys and then upon the vanity maybe we should just put some like hair brushes and stuff that looks so random over there but it's fine oh my gosh we have three minutes uh maybe we should add a carpet in the middle as well it's looking kind of bare and then i know this is super random but i might add an armchair in the bathroom because some bathrooms that are really expensive have seating areas so i've added the actual chair and then where are pillows i think they're in decoration yeah they are we'll just throw a random pillow on here oh my gosh oh no the transform tool is breaking right we have two 
two minutes. I think we should add the structural beams now. Oh my gosh, I'm putting it in the wrong place. No, no, no. And we can't even backspace it. We have to delete it. Look how expensive it is, guys. 1,320. And we put it in the wrong place again. This is really stressing me out because we haven't added like a light or anything. And then one here. Oh my gosh, that is so uneven, but it will have to do. Then I'm going to add the roof in. And right, we have one minute to add some lights in. So I think maybe some more of these around the door would look good. And then a chandelier. Maybe we could add two to make it extra bright like that. And oh my gosh, you guys, we haven't even added a toilet in here and it's literally a bathroom. Right, maybe the toilet can just go. Oh no, there literally isn't anywhere. Maybe just here. Decorations, decorations. Let's at least get some toilet roll. And we can put one that goes on the floor as well. And then, oh no, we're out of time. Let me go and see how everyone else is doing. A lot of them are saying they need more money and more time. So I'm gonna give them all a little bit more money and extra time. I'm not gonna give myself any though. So I'm only gonna give them two minutes extra time. Then let's go into permissions and set these guys budgets. Okay, she has enough, she has enough. Oh, this one only has, right, we'll give this one a little 3,000 top up. Oh, this one has zero. Okay, we'll give them a 3,000 top up as well. And we'll give anyone else who needs one a top up too. And then let's tell them one minute left, guys, one minute left. And then my job is also to add roofs to all the ones that have forgotten to put them in. And also I do just need to add doors to all the bathrooms as well, because otherwise we won't be able to tour them. But most people have been pretty good at adding doors, actually. And that, guys, is time up. They now all have roofs and everybody is going to have to get out of building mode the last one in here is this little mouse and i can't wait to look at all the bathrooms guys although i am going to go onto a separate server because otherwise there'll be like 50 people running around each room all right guys let's start with bathroom number one and this one oh it's a bit of a squeeze to get in oh we have these double sinks over here we have a mirror oh i like how they've done a private little bit for the toilet and then a really fancy area for the bath i like this room and i'm gonna give it a six out of ten and by the way guys you should comment down below which bedroom you like the best too and mine obviously isn't included because i didn't have a budget so it wouldn't be fair anyway this is bedroom number two and you can just tell that this is a skilled builder we have the sink area and the toilet area all looks very nice then they've made a little separate bit for like the washing stuff and plus they've got vines we can't complain if they've got vines i give bedroom two a eight out of ten that's a very high score from me then we have bedroom three over here oh they've gone for like a spongebob theme they've also got a sink area with some makeup on it then they've got two showers guys not one but two i do like this actually quite a bit but i'm only gonna give it a six out of ten because i don't think they finished then over here we have bedroom four. Oh, this is a gold one this looks like luxury Luxury. Oh my gosh, they've even added a changing bed in here. That's so kind of them. And then we have a sink and a shower with a stool. So if you have a friend, they can sit here. I like this one, but again, I don't think they finished. So six out of 10 from me. Oh my gosh, bathroom number five has flowers outside. And by the way, sorry if I've said bedroom throughout this. I mean bathroom. Whoa, this is so bright. So you have a lovely little area over here to wash your hands in. Lots of towels. Then a big bath in the middle here. Oh my gosh, you know when you like lay in the bath and you have a table to put stuff on, they have that. And custom walls. I give this an eight out of 10 as well. Very detailed. Then over here we have bathroom number six, which is my bathroom. And to be honest, honestly, some of the others look way better than this. Then just behind that, we have bathroom number seven. And oh my gosh, look at this one. This is really fancy. They have a closet in the bathroom, guys. So there's a shower over here. I don't know why it looks so modern. I love it. I think if they manage to finish this, it would be amazing but sadly I don't think it is but I'm still gonna give it a six out of ten next up we have bathroom eight. Oh, this one's a bit more contemporary so they have some cute books along their sink area a toilet with a bin next to it oh that's a good idea no one's added a bin apart from them I don't think then a shower oh look at that shelf I really like this one I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten now moving on to bedroom number nine. Oh, oh my gosh what happened in here this shower is very very low Long. I think it's not too bad, but I'm only going to give it a 5 out of 10 because I don't really think they finished. Next, we have bedroom 10. Wow, that is 
fancy building. They've got a shower over here, but the water might go everywhere to be fair. But again, they didn't manage to finish. So maybe a seven out of 10 here. Now we've got two more bathrooms to go. So bathroom 11, whoa, this is bright. So they've got a really nice sink area over here. They've added windows, which a lot of people forgot to do. So that's extra points. I like this one too. So I reckon a six out of 10. And then the last bathroom, bathroom 12 is this one. And they've used like giraffe print wallpaper, which is so cool. Then in here is their bath and shower area. This is quite a cute vibe. And I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10 as well. But let me jump into build mode and do a bird's eye view. And I'll put the number of each bathroom above it so you can see which one you want to win. My personal favourites are bathroom number 2 and bathroom number 8. But make sure to comment down below which ones you like. But I'm very, very grateful to everybody who took part in this challenge with me. Thank you all so much for watching this and I'll see you all next time.